Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to another video and today's video I'm going to talk about how to become a freelance web developer. So, as some of you might have seen already, I have done a video uh, about uh, how I took uh, three months holidays in Asia and uh, I have done a bit of freelancing while I was doing this um, uh, holiday and it helped me out with some money and uh, <laughs> I'm gonna share with you guys this so it probably will help you out as well and uh, who knows. <laughs> so, uh, if you want to become a freelance web developer, first of all, of course, you need to learn HTML, CSS and JavaScript. You need to know, you don't have to be like an extreme expert, you know, but you need to know a little bit how to build a web page and everything. So, um, yeah, th this will be the, the first step. And uh, after, what you should do in order to become a, a freelancer, you need to start tell people around you, your friends, family, whatever, that uh, you you are able to do uh, websites for them. <laughs> I know that this might this might sound like uh, a little bit oh my friends and family they they don't want anything or whatever. It's crazy like <laughs> I'm gonna tell you guys, I have met so much of my friends and family and whatever, so many people now these days that they need a website, because every everybody now these days, they need a website for anything, and most of these people, they don't know anyone, and obviously they don't want to go to an agency or whatever and, and pay a thousand pounds or whatever. When you are starting out, you can do these websites for friends and stuff for a bit cheaper, so it will help you to gain experience dealing with uh, with clients. Let's say it's going to be your friends, but it's going to be like clients, you know, to make sure that you need to, uh, that you do everything that they want, and then to make sure you are not getting explored, you know, like uh, not working too much for a little bit of money. So all of these will will give you a lot of experience, you know. <laughs> I, I've met so so many different people. For example, I was I was in a barbecue of a friend uh, the last few weeks, and all of a sudden, in 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 the in that barbecue there, there was a neighbor of that friend that had a dog, <laughs> that was um, an Instagram celebrity. The dog because they were taking a lot of pictures of the dog, and uh, she was. This girl, she was uh, talking to me about uh, about this dog that was um, a celebrity on Instagram. She was showing, oh, can you please uh, um, follow us on on Instagram and stuff? And uh, we were talking, and she was asking me, so well, what do you do? And I said, oh, I am a web developer. And she was like, really? Because uh, my dog needs a website. You see, all of a sudden, out of nowhere, just for you to mention people that you are a web developer and uh, and you can do websites, people, mo there's a lot of people who need websites. This is just this is just like one um, one example. There, there was a lot, uh, another another thing that uh, I I had a friend who was a DJ and this guy needed um, a website as well, you know? And oh, tell me, I didn't know that you were doing website. I'm a DJ and I want to promote myself and I would like you to make me a website. <laughs> so many different people. I have a friend that uh, is in um, real estate, uh, um, you know, selling houses and everything and he would like to, to have a website to, to promote him as well. There's so many different uh, people out there that they need a website for their business, for their hobbies. If you just start sharing around, saying to people that you are able to, to build some pages and everything, you will be surprised how many people will come to you, you know, and, um, and you will have many opportunities. Just this is to start out, you know. And um, for example, when I was in um, when I was doing this three months holiday um, in in, um, in Asia, that I was traveling China, Japan, uh, uh, India, Indonesia, Bali, Thailand. I visited three months, and I was doing some small websites for for these and that people, you know. And there is these um, websites for freelancers called. Um, they are very popular um, 
Fiverr.com, uh, Upwork, Freelancer, and there is so many people there requesting uh, free, uh, freelancers like, can you do this website for me, uh, you know, and you can get in contact with them, you know, nego negotiate the, um, the prices and everything. So basically, you, you can become a web developer so easily and... Uh, the thing, the thing that it's hardest in here is um, how to deal with the clients, you know, because uh, you don't want uh, you don't want to be doing a, a website for someone and all of a the sudden they say, oh, I'm, I'm really sorry, um, we don't want the website anymore, you know. Oh. <laughs> it happens, you know, uh, some people they want you to make a website and you start working on it and uh, almost at the end they say that I don't, they don't want it anymore, so you need to uh, charge at least 50%, you know, up front, so you, you don't get burned out, you know, because if you are uh, working several hours in a project and then in the end you don't get paid anything, so my approach to these kind of things is uh, you should charge like 50% of the website, 50-30% in the beginning when you are starting out and then the rest when you deliver the, um, the website. So this is something that uh, that you can do as well to, to save yourself from this. Sometimes, you know, you think it, it might not happen, but it happens a lot, you know. So. Uh, yeah, guys. So you you have all these websites that you can go to um, to um, to find uh, clients. You have all of your friends and uh, family that you can say as well uh, that you make websites and you can do websites for them. And you can become a freelancer. Of course, that um, you are not going to become like a freelancer from one day to another. This thing takes time, you know, and. Uh, is it it's better for you to start with his friends and family you know because um, you can just get this experience how, how is it to deal with the clients so this, this is very important because there is another thing that uh, some people they want you to do infinite changes oh I really want this uh, website to be with this main color orange and with the three columns in the in the front and then when you are about to deliver mm, was not really this is what, what I wanted <laughs> so they ask you to completely redesign the website and uh, after all uh, um, a website that you could be you could be uh, doing for let's say 10 hours you, you will end up doing uh, 50 or 60 hours <laughs> so you have to make sure you 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 say all of these things in the beginning you know one of the one of the things that I, I usually do is like if I'm gonna build a website, let's say, I know that I can build this website in two weeks, I will tell I will tell them um, like this. I I will make your website, it will cost let's say five hundred dollars. I will make this website in a week, and after I deliver this week, in this week the website, I will give you an extra week for you to uh, make any changes or anything, you know? So you deliver the website, after you deliver, if they want anything to be changed, you will give them a, a week extra, so you can do the changes, and after that week, it's done. If they want anything else, they have to pay for more of your time. So, um, <laughs> yeah, guys, I, I think this is some, some of the good tips for you if you want to start to, to become um, a freelance web developer. I'm not sure if I cover everything, if there is anything that you guys uh, are still not sure about. Just let me know in the comments down below. Uh, I'm not really, let's say, like a, a really experienced um, freelance web developer because I'm, I work still at a... I have a full-time job as a web developer. So I, I've just done a bit of freelancing part-time, you know, when I was doing this trip and I've done for a few friends and stuff. Nothing like too serious, but this can be the beginning of something, you know. Who knows in the future I can become a, a full-time freelancer. You know, this is how everything starts. It starts as just something small and uh, it can grow after. <laughs> so uh, yeah guys, I hope you like this video. If you like it, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you like this video. And if you have any questions, just let me know in the comments down below. And I'll see you in the next video.